Welcome back everybody. Today's topic, very short video, is my forearm work. Forearm work has become very, very important as of recently. I've neglected forearm training the majority of these last few years, and that's caused an extreme amount of pain. Uh, everything else gets stronger, the weights in the bench get heavier, and my forearms don't get any stronger, don't become more resilient, and they keep getting hurt. So, um, yeah, I've had to add this back in. And uh, used to arm wrestle back when I was a young kid, a teenager. Uh, I, trust me, I was no good at it. But um, doing some mace work here is uh, one of the things I used to do to train for arm wrestling. Much more fun than just doing boring ass dumbbell curls over the knee, stuff like that. Uh, the forearms have to be strong on all angles, all parts, flexors, extensors, your hands, every, anything that's exposed during the bench press. So when we bench press heavy weights, you obviously have the cast-like effect of your wrist wrap, and then you have the compression of the shirt uh, on your upper arm. Your lower arm, your forearm, is completely exposed to all those tremendous forces. And especially with me going heavier and heavier and heavier recently, um, you know, it, it's just it's more and more shearing force, and I have to maintain uh, my forearm strength and make that make them stronger, uh, so that they don't get hurt. I got I got to keep keep up with them. That just makes sense. If you neglect something and don't make it strong or uh, make it stay uh, stronger with the rest of your body, it's it's bound to get injured. So the mace work here, uh, you can do it with the mace behind the body. Like you can see the weight behind my body here. I've actually choked up on it from the first video. Uh, that's why I'm including it here. The way you work with this lever, you know, if you want to make it harder, you just make push the weight further away from your body. So I'm choking up on it a little bit more even to make it a little bit more difficult. Uh, this is one of my favorite ways to work with a mace, uh, extending and lifting the mace uh, behind you. That's, a, that's an excellent, excellent forearm flexor movement. And then we're working the top of the forearm, the extensors. And notice how I'm actually, bra a lot of these movements, I'm actually bracing my arm on this uh, weight tree. Uh, that takes the rest of my body out of the equation. You know, your, your bicep and your shoulder, instead of having to hold it out or hold the mace out in front of you to do some of these things, you just brace your arm on a upright post like this and uh, just be able to focus on the forearm and nothing else. Again, now swinging the mace to the front and I've also choked up on it or uh, I guess unchoked up on it, right? I'm, I'm making it harder, but uh, just making the lever longer and thus making the movement more difficult. Probably one of my favorite ways to train the flexors is to do pulley wrist curls. I add a fat grip to it. That's, I, I get a lot more muscle activation doing that. I would much rather do this, like I said, rather than at the beginning of the video, you know, putting my arm over top of my knee and doing dumbbell wrist curls. Those are just boring as fuck and i don't like the way they just don't feel good um this is much more dynamic uh i just i it's it's i just enjoy it more <laughs> this is how i like to train forearms but uh yeah you have to you have to train everything you can't have any weak links when it comes to benching the most weight as uh, humanly possible so that's why we uh, train forearms multiple days a week then when I'm sitting at home watching TV, I like to also get this band right here. I got this at York Barbell and work the extensors to keep my strength of my forearm and my hand balanced. So I hope you enjoyed the video and we will catch you all next time.